Looks a little staid. Hello. Uh, my name is Mark Doyle. Uh, I'm the founder of a company called The Method. Uh, quick show of hands. Who here has heard of method acting? Anyone? Some of you? Uh, for those of you that may not be familiar, uh, method acting, it's a process that actors use to consciously maximize their impact when they deliver a performance in any role that they take on. Uh, we started life 25 years ago as a theatre company. I was an actor uh, in that company. But over the last 15 years, what we've done is taken the method and see how you can apply that same process to professionals. How can you take this idea to maximise your impact at work? But what I'm definitely, definitely not interested in is drama in your store. Okay? It has no place uh, in the store. It only has limited place in truth in the theatre. If every play you went to see had full drama, it would be unbearable. I am, however, really interested in extra daily levels of behaviour. And the reason I'm interested in it is that when people work slightly harder than is strictly necessary to communicate with us, we tend to listen to them for longer, we understand more of what they're saying, and really interestingly, we tend to like them a little bit more, which means we tend to work harder for people that work harder for us. If I drop down to a daily level of energy and just use 10% of my full expressive potential to communicate with you, you should still be able to hear me because the mics are up. Uh, but if I do the next 30 minutes like this, it's going to be much harder to listen to me after a little while. You're going to remember a lot less of what I say. And after a while, it's highly likely that you're not going to like me very much at all. <laughs> If, however, uh, I pick up the energy and work slightly harder than is strictly necessary to communicate with you, instantly I should be a bit easier to listen to. Hopefully you're going to remember a bit more of what I say. And maybe, just maybe, you might even start to like me. <laughs> we'll maybe ask that question at the end. So uh, we use these words a lot, like be confident, be passionate, be engaging, be positive, uh, and they can get thrown about, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an awful lot in business. But actually, if we can unpick it, and if you could genuinely, consciously control that, it could help you and your team be more successful. So hopefully, it's worth spending 25 minutes on uh, looking at how, how we could do that. So we want to talk about why, uh, why uh, uh, huddles are good why the power huddle is good, what value it has. Same conversation. However, this time, I just want you to conscious, consciously focus on a couple of behaviours while you're doing this. So you can choose from this list. Either you can have, uh, really focus on having positive eye contact, so hold eye contact, try and really engage with the other person. You can smile, just really work on that smile. We'll have nice open body language. Let's stand tall and be nice and open. I want you to speak up. Vary the tone of your voice. So just pick one or two. Um, don't just pick smile and eye contact. <laughs> do not pick the first two. Just go, great. Hi, so anyway, what it was. Say, don't do that, OK? This is an opportunity to have a go at genuinely just working a little harder than you naturally normally would to see what impact it generates. So pick two, same conversation, and then we'll just see what difference it makes. Does that make sense? OK, stand up, pick two, and be the most impactful you in this conversation. So I have a couple of questions. First question, uh, was there a difference between the first time and the second time? And if you had to choose, if you had to choose, which version, uh, which version was more impactful, the first one or the second one? Yeah, and, and this is a tricky one to go... Did anyone feel slightly more impactful, slightly more passionate, slightly more enthused? Put your hands up if you did. It's OK if you didn't. Superb, superb. That's really exciting. And I will ask the other question. Did anyone go, nope, nope, that just felt weird and awkward and horrible, and I'm desperate to get out of here? Uh, and be, so anyone, anyone not work? It would be fine if it didn't, because the first time we try these things, it can feel a bit unusual. I'm just so what that suggests is, on a Wednesday afternoon, if you want to motivate, inspire, and be impactful, if you use your voice, your body, your language to do that, two incredible things will happen. Firstly, instantly, your teams will read you as an impactful, motivating leader. It's how we read people. But really empoweringly, you should also feel the energy, feel the difference, and become your behavior. What do you think about that? <laughs> yes, almost. Let's become our behavior. Yes, good.
<laughs> yes, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, final so, part of the method then is this all means nothing at all if you don't commit to perform and put it into practice in the live environment. So, final so, question. Will you commit to perform? Will you have a go? Yes. Superb. Thank you so much for letting me be part of your day. It's genuinely, it's been a joy. Uh, have a fantastic afternoon. I think we're going to lunch now. Thank you very much.